Welcome, welcome back, it's your boy Triple Skills. Today it is Season 2 Part 5 of Liverpool FC Career Mode on EA Sports FC 24. If you do enjoy, like and subscribe. But, your first interesting fact of the day is, an interesting fact about Liverpool vs Real Madrid is that they have met in multiple UEFA Champions League finals. Arguably the most memorable is a 3-1 loss that Liverpool suffered in the 17-18 final and... It is that was the final where Gareth Bale got that bicycle kick sensational finish, and that's what's remarkable is that both clubs have rich histories in this competition, and their clashes in the Champions League finals add to law of European football. But Liverpool versus Real Madrid is just such a good fight. Well, just such a good game. It always has been. But today is my revenge mission. But. In Season 2, Part 5 of Liverpool Career Mode, well, what are the games where Quicksim and I'm playing? Play Real Madrid, Quicksim Crystal Palace, Quicksim Southampton, Quicksim Leicester, Quicksim Slavia Praha, Praha, play Everton and play Fulham. Now, I mean, two of them games are arguably not winnable for us. And when I say that, I mean, the Real Madrid match might not be very winnable for us. Based on the op well, based on the fact that Liverpool has such a bad history against Real Madrid, when the last time they beat Madrid for starters, I mean Everton will turn up. Thank but I do have a good history one. against Everton. I expect now. that to stay the same way. But a team like Everton will always be our team to play, just based on just the style of football. Son Dyche, he instills something into all of his players, and it is remarkable what a Sondage Burnley did and maybe just maybe we can back that Sondage side. Real Madrid, I mean I've already been over that with the bad history but they also have Don Carlo Ancelotti. They have players like Vinny Junior for starters and I mean no more Benzema because he's gone to Saudi but they have they even have Courtois, they have Antonio Rudiger who's just rapid so I think our players like Rafael Leal Sane or Gakpo, whoever I use on that wing, so and then today, up top will be Darwin Nunes. I mean, it's gonna be a hard game. But look at Vinny Jr.'s gonna have to come on off the bench. Wow. But they have Frank Garcia, Captain Kieran Trippier. I think I might be able to expose him, we'll have to wait and see. But they have Jude Bellingham, who's let's just talk about him. Has any English player ever gone to a foreign country and had the impact on a club like he has? Sensational. I mean, you have Eduardo Camavinga and Valverde, Brahim Diaz, Romelu Lukaku. Come on, that is sensational. I mean, he's partnered with Schick. I can't believe how good that team is. I mean, imagine if we can pull this off. But I think my aim is keep 11 men on the pitch and try to draw them into challenges. But we all know if Real Madrid get an opportunity to drag me into a challenge, I'm going to go in reckless. But. I have no doubt this match will be one for the history books. Real Madrid, Liverpool, here we go. But early on it was just all Real Madrid. Just look at this here. Beautiful football. And Gianluigi Donnarumma is nothing short of world class. How big of a... Well, how right I was to sell Alisson. He's been so good, Donnarumma. But here we go, Real Madrid on the attack. And... Saved by Donnarumma and straight to Bellingham 1 0 to Real Madrid. And the Liverpool fan has scored against his beloved club. But we all know that we are capable of beating this Real Madrid team. We, we know we are. If you look at our players on the pitch, there's no doubt that an attack of Darwin Nunes, Rafael Leal, and Leroy Sane can break down that defence. I'm at midfield. You've just got. In my opinion, two of the best teams in the world going at it. But look at what Rafael Leal does. Straight from kickoff, 1-1. One, one. And right as I maybe start to admit a little bit of defeat, because well, you go 1-0 down against Real Madrid, you know there's a very, very high chance you may end up losing this one. But the players didn't let their heads drop, and they told me, you know what, Mr Skills? We are here to fight by your side. And fight by my side they did. Look at Darwin Nunes there. Beautiful ball to Cody Gakpo. 
and just look at this for a finish. Straight into the post and off Courtois' own goal. Now, can we keep on to a 2-1 lead? Honestly, I don't think so. A team like Real Madrid are so well drilled defensively, but they're also so well drill, drilled well uh, in the attack. Midfield, they've got the Real Madrid for a reason. What, they've got 14 Champions Leagues, 13? Sensational. No club in the history of football has got more. That's exactly how good they are, and that's the level they are at. But, here we go. First booking of the day is going to be Oreo Chomini. Now, look out for a horrible challenge. It's going to be yellow card, surely. But, we need to be doing better. And, it's just going to be a yellow. Thank you, ref. But... 2-1 up, going into half time at the Bernabeu. I can't really argue with that. I'd say that Real Madrid have been the better team by just a bit. I mean, we've just been so much more clinical than them. We've relied on Donnarumma a bit too much for my liking, but going into half time, 2 1 Liverpool. Now, can the goal from Rafael Leal and the own goal from Thibaut Courtois keep Liverpool ahead? But it, look at this football. Just beautiful. Just Trent, look out for a ball. But Frimpong, bowling box, Rafael Lea, oh my god. Courtois. He scored his own goal and he's just conceded that. But to do that versus Real Madrid is outrageous. Can we just talk about that? I don't think there will ever be a team to do this to Real Madrid. Barcelona, who are you lads? You had Messi, so that period of time's not going to count. Because... Comparing Rafael Leal to Messi is like comparing like a little chihuahua to like a big uh, Doberman or something. Like, it's not even comparable. But this is going to be a second yellow, I think. And it's a second yellow, you absolute clown. Tio Hernandez puts Liverpool down to 10 men. We're going to be forced to hang on to this. But here we go, it's going to be easily saved. Well done, lads. But it's going to be a big mistake. And just look at this for a finish by Romelu Lukaku. Top left. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. I can see us losing this right now. I mean, how long have we been down to 10 men? It's 3 2 to Liverpool still, but a finish like that. Lukaku's a striker. Like, he does have a very good finish. It's an awful first touch, but it ain't reflected in EA Sports FC 24. But that is a horrendous challenge. And that could be a straight red. I think I think it should only be a yellow. But it's EA. It's going to be a straight red, I guarantee it. And it's a red card. My fucking days. Oh. It's a yellow. Come on. But it's just a yellow. But it's going to be Vinny Jr. And it's been just saved. That is brilliant by the Italian Stallion. He's an unstoppable force, that man. How tall is he? Six foot five. Just enormous. But Liverpool beat Real Madrid 3 2, whilst they're down to nine men at the Bernabeu to make history and to finally get a win versus Real Madrid. How many, how many games on trot is it that Liverpool haven't beaten Real? Come on. Real Madrid have got to have beaten. Uh, what? Well, Real Madrid have got to have beaten Liverpool. At least four, out, well, probably about ten of the last eleven times, something like that. It'll be something ridiculous. You, you can tell me. But goals from a known goal from Courtois, a goal from and two goals from Rafael Liao get Liverpool the win, and equal Bellingham and Lukaku's goals. But we do beat Crystal Palace two one in the Premier League to keep our undefeated run going. I didn't think we'd be undefeated still, and going into this match, I thought. You know what? A team like Crystal Palace can cause us problems. Luckily not. Now, our first team will go up against Southampton. This should be a straightforward win. And it's going to be a 3 fucking one 3 one loss. What? Oh, my. There's... Uh, Candeline. Uh, Ad Adebaldo. And Camaldeem again. Get Southampton's three goals. Dolan Nunes gets our only goal. Now, we play Leicester. Get back to winning ways, I beg. And it's going to be a 2-1 win. The only goal for Leicester was scored by Cannon. But the goals for Liverpool 
was Carvalho. He's a great player, really. What a player. I mean, will there ever be a player of uh, Fabio, Fabio Carvalho's age to be at his ability? I don't think so. He's only young. He's like 18. He's very young. But Darwin Nunes, Rafael Leal, and Rafael Leal. Uh, has, has Leal got a hat-trick? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. He's a quality player. You saw it versus Real Madrid. And it's going to be a... Oh, Endo. Endo, Endo, Endo. But we do take that. 100% we do. Now, on to the press conference. Versus Everton. Now. Uh, a team like Everton, plenty of players that can cause us problems. That I'm going to do on Nana, physical, physically, he could probably take on our entire midfield at once. And that's just being honest. Then we have Beto, he has a good record versus me. Pickford, he can have his best day, but he could very easily have his worst day. So I'm not going to highlight him. And uh, Patterson's young. I mean, he could be eight, about 80 overall by now, but I expect us to eat him alive. And that really, Ashley Young's there, he's old and slow, but Sondage football, I have no doubt he'll have a decent match for Ashley Young. Is, I mean, look, he suits Sondage football, I think, but it's also Sondage manager. His style of football will get results every now and again. Can they get a result versus? I hope not, but right, guys, I, I won't be surprised time. if they did. But as long as I keep a clean sheet, I'll be happy. But am I missing anyone? I don't think so. That meant Neil's getting on the older side. I think he used to be at Burnley. But he's alright. He could easily have a good game. But, I mean, they have Keane and Holgate. Two decent Premier League centre-backs, but not anything set special. Holgate's probably better too. Uh, in fact, Keane used to be right good. I used to rate, rate him real highly, but not anymore. But... In other news, it is time. Kickoff is fast approaching. Liverpool versus Everton at Anfield. Score predictions. I personally think 3 1 Liverpool, but I don't know. I love a clean sheet. It, it would be brilliant for not only morale, but just to see a solid defensive performance, as it's something we do need to see. But early on, it was all us. And you will see, yeah, a shot by Darwin Nunes. No power behind it. That was a problem, but there was the accuracy. Which alone can cause problems. Oh my god, Nunes missed an open net. What happened there? Here we go, playing out from the back. Donnarumma's pretty good at that. Not the level of Alisson, but good. Donnarumma's just better in other ways. Hence why he's had such a good season. But a ball in box. Don't know how that found its way to Cody Gapo. And a tidy finish. By the right winger. Dropping Leroy Sonny was a huge W on that front today from RC. But could Sonny have done that? I think he could have. I mean, very tidy finish. I think Pitford has to do better there. Awful goalkeeping, but I'm happy with the fact that we are winning. That's all that matters. I'm never going to critique the opposition players as them doing bad helps me out. Another attack for Liverpool, going well, not far from half time. But can we get another goal? It could be Theo Hernandez, ball in box. Oh, what a save! Denied Pedri. I thought that would go in. I really did. Half time, one 0 to Liverpool through Cody Gakpo. But was that Rafael Leal ball in box, or was it Theo Hernandez? It was sensational, whoever it was. They deserve a huge pay rise, double the salary for week. Cause in a match like this. To put in a ball like that, and let's just let, let's just talk about that. The level that, that is Premier League quality, all right, that is being world class. But the attacking threat from Cody Gakpo, but also the finishing ability, sensational. But Trent Alexander-Arnold forces a save from Jordan Pickford from the free kick, but on the opposite side, it's going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh, what a save again! That is lucky by Everton. A player like Trent Alexander Arnold hasn't scored that. Now we're going to defend it. It's going to be Darwin Nunes. Can we get to the half line, halfway line and just get a shot off? And we do. It's going to be a shot. And it's got to go back in that open net, yeah. Standard. We did it last season. It's just a bit weird, I think, that. I don't. 
it's a weird bug that I I expose every now and again. I try to expose it as well, obviously as the least amount of times I can, because I like to be on the attack. But it, I don't know, just something right off about the goalkeepers being up that that far up the field every single game if we're losing in injury time by just the old goal. I don't like that at all, purely because well, it's a match Everton would like would take a draw. Just leave the goalkeeper in that, then we're not two 0 up. I mean, you still have a chance to draw, but I'm not going to complain. It's going to be 2 0 to Liverpool for a world of goal by Darwin Nunes and a pretty nice strike by Cody Gapo with a sensational ball into the box by Tio Hernandez. But the man right there, Trent Alexander Arnold, was on fire. Pedri, another player that played well. We had plenty of good performances, but so many of our players that were on the front foot. Just showed Everton up so many times. 2 0 full time to Liverpool at Anfield versus Everton. Huge win. And that can only help morale. I'm happy. Now, Fulham, they've lost two of the last five, drawn three. Winless in five, not good enough at all. But what I will say is Fulham can either cause us problems. We've got Rahul Jimenez. I mean, he hasn't. Obviously, he's on the decline. He's been on the decline since his... Uh, was, was it a skull fracture? I think it was. But you never want to hear about that in football. I've, he's been on the decline since then. And it's obviously one of them injuries that can obviously do that. Because not only are you getting an injury to your brain, but it affects your heading of a ball, which is something he was he was sensational at. His heading of a ball was quality. And look, it's, it's a shame. It is. But another reason why he's also had a bit of a downfall is... It's no Espirito Santo because he fucked off to Spurs. It is what it is. Now, it's going to be a good game. Curtis Jones makes his return to play his former club. It's Boy Uncle, Liverpool. I can't wait for this. I mean, I barely used him. When I did use him, he was alright. But in the end, it was do I keep Harvey Elliott? Do I keep Curtis Jones? And 10 times out of 10, I'm picking Harvey Elliott because he's better at his age and he's also younger so let's just say that yeah i think that's the two key factors he has more attributes that i like to see in my players that were better so i, I was happy but cody gapo oh he's hit the post my days were in two minutes so close but yet so far now so bosley i go on get that ball in oh my god that's sensational is that darwin nunes yes it is but what a ball by Sir Bosley Yoy. Wow. Can someone explain to me what happened? Because uh, I don't know how anyone in the Premier League can afford that much time to such a big threat. But the goalkeeper had 0% chance. That's as close to 0% as you can get. I mean, at least with a penalty, you have a chance of saving it. But that was impossible for anyone of any level. Well done, lads. Well done. Now, we've just got to carry it on. No, that's a stupid chance. Why do I do that? Cody got pulls off. Yep. He's off. Oh, that's stupid. Why? Why game? We've, we now might lose this game. Being down to 10 men versus anyone is could end up quite costly. We hung on to half-time, which, you know what, you expect. It's Liverpool against form. But, it's what Fulham do at half time that will make the difference. I mean, one one attempt, one goal from Dom Nunes. And the sending off for Cody Gatpo could easily be a problem. Their extra number, big problems, are about to come through. Now, it's going to be Fulham on the attacking. He's just got to see something brilliant here. Somehow they get this shot off and look at that. Tipped onto the post by Gianluigi Donnarumma. But Jimenez has a very average game. I mean, when he was possessed an opportunity, he nearly scored. But it wasn't real worth a highlight. But you've got to see some sensational here by Liverpool. Out wide. Simi Kirsten has just power shot. Just no chance. Goalkeeping has to do better. I will not complain. Thank you, Simi Kass, The Greek god. Yeah? He's sensation. Absolutely unreal, that. How left-back has that in his back locker? I don't know. But what I do know is, 
it is worth the money, that little point ended up paying on it. Now, I think it's a pretty... Well, I think the win's already been confirmed at Craven Cottage. And we deserve it. It's been a pretty dull second half. But I think if you go off just chances, we do deserve a win. They had two opportunities that have been... Well, one was put on post, one was just blasted over by Jimenez. But, it well, let me stop blabbering. We won 2-0 at Craven Cottage with 10 men versus Fulham. And it was through Dolan Nunez and Simicast. Thank you very much, lads. That is exactly what we need. And one goal, one attempt, perfect. Javier Elliott, he had a decent game. Endo could do better. I'm not... He's a, he's a CDM. Come on. He's a CDM. I'm going to be a little bit lenient to him. But he got too many passes wrong. Now, where do we end the day? We end the day 11 points clear. One loss, first loss of the day, what, of the season, we came to Southampton. We need to do better. And, you know what, it was at Anfield too. It's gutting. But nonetheless, it's been your boy for now. And peace. Take care.